All right, today I'll be sharing a technique from this uh, online article about that will enable us to download and run commands. Uh, it's using this reg uh, SRV command. And I believe this was uh, originally shared by uh, Casey Smith, AKA uh, sub T. So uh, first off, right, I'm going to uh, copy this uh, script here, and it's going to be this SCT script. And initially, it's just going to execute uh, the calc.exe to show it working. And then uh, later on, I will add to it a, a web delivery that is hosted by Cobalt Strike and get a Cobalt Strike uh, beacon with this technique. So uh, that is what we'll be sharing today. So first off, right? So the command we're gonna do is this reg serve. And if I go to the target machine, right? This is the command that we're gonna execute. And then if we go back here, so according to that web article, uh, this is the format of this uh, SCT file. And it's all it's gonna do is create this ActiveX object and then uh, run calc.exe. And then so over here, uh, that's where that file is. So we just uh, host it with HTTP server module from Python 3. So that's hosted. Let's go back to our target VM here in Windows. So let's execute it. And if we execute it, we see that calc pops up. So this works as a method of downloading and executing commands. So now to sort of make it a little bit more interesting, we'll see how we can use this in combination with a uh, Cobalt Strike. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay, so first off, let's see what my web listener is. And to do that, I could hit here to manage my host. And this is the URL for the PowerShell scripted uh, web delivery. So I can copy that. That's done. And then I go back to here. And we so what we do here is remove calc.exe here and we paste a PowerShell here instead. And now we fix some issues with uh, the quotations. So let's fix up our quotations by escaping them. And we do not need this hidden parameter so we can see it pop up, the actual PowerShell pop up for us. So here it is, we save our uh, one.sct uh, file, and now we can host it on our uh, da, 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 on our uh, team server itself. So let's host it right here, open the file, one.sct, uh, open it, and we'll call it um, one.sct. Okay, launch it. Okay, and this is the URL. Copy that. All right, all set. I think everything looks good here. And as you notice in the pane here where the beacons would show, right? We don't have anything. So let's uh, jump to our target VM. So we go here to our target VM. And what we have to change here is previously we hosted uh, that file uh, from Python, but now we're just gonna use uh, the one hosted on the, the team server itself. So I believe this is command, so let's execute it. We execute, we get the PowerShell pop up. That's really nice. And we go back here to call what strike. Boom, we get our beacon callback. So let's interact with it, make it interactive, uh, get the username, and let's also get the process listing once it comes back. We got about 15 seconds. But yeah, that's it in a nutshell. So, you know, a really powerful technique. And you sort of saw some of the other features where. Um, Cobalt Strike allows you to host the file itself. And we've got another 30 seconds. And so I can quickly go back here to show you, right? This is sort of the code here, Casey Smith by sub T. And yeah, PowerShell, you gotta escape the quotations. All right, 15 more seconds for our beacon to come back here. And uh, one of the things I did want to point out though is sometimes Cobalt Strike is kind of weird and has some quirks. So I'm not quite sure why this, why this is the internal IP address. So that's just something to note. Uh, some of my friends claim that it's because of natting, but I'm not quite sure, right? So we got back our get UID command and we could also get PS, right? So we have a uh, command execution with our beacon.
So that's what I wanted to share today.